guys. So, in my last video, I told you I was kind of a little hesitant about going on to two, you know, leaving my two crutches to go on one crutch. Well, actually, I think like Wednesday of this week, I went down to one official crutch, which you see right now that I have. And I'm actually making very good progress with it. I am putting some weight down, as you notice, even, even walking backwards. So, I have been a little daring and making better progress where I'm actually walking without it, as you can see. It's not quite pretty, but you know what? I'm doing it. And I'm tired of those crutches. Everyone who's probably in the same predicament as me probably feel the same way, especially if you're a very extremely independent, you want things done, you want to get it done yourself kind of personality like me, you're going to make sure you get off that thing. So, but to be safe, because there's only been a few days with the one crutch, and um, apparently I was told that I was running with the crutches with my one crutch one day when I actually thought I was speed walking. Well, I did feel a soreness the next day right where the bend of the ankle is. And I've actually been doing, um, since Friday, well, maybe late Thursday night, like, I did, I started doing some, um, Epsom salt fast, you know, soaking my leg in air, um, trying to get up to where the scar is, trying to get it to heal faster and um honestly I've definitely seen some notice in my swelling um and I'll post a video uh, maybe a picture before my foot goes in because I've been soaking it for maybe 30 minutes to I think about 30 minutes um one day I did about three sessions of it one the other day I did like maybe four sessions I think I did four one day just because you know, after the long work week I had, I want to make sure I was safe. So I am making progress. I actually got to go to downtown this weekend, which I haven't got to do since I got hurt. Got to walk down, eat eat a pita pit, you know, enjoy the downtown area. So, but um, back to what I was saying, I'm probably going to go back to work tomorrow and maybe Tuesday, depending on how I feel on Tuesday. I'm going to stick with one crutch. Or I'm going to break away. That way work knows that. Um, but my follow-up doctor's appointment is on Friday the 18th. And um, my husband and I have been talking. And um, we're thinking of some exercising exercises for me to do. Mostly I can do a lot of upper as long as I'm sitting. But I'm going to start actually recording a little bit of that. Especially, you know, maybe like one little small session of what it is. And how many reps I'm doing it and stuff like that. My set and stuff. So, but, um, yeah, definitely making some progress. I'm not going to attempt to do the lift the leg up and stand on it. We ain't doing that yet. But I'm hoping to stay on one boot for the last couple remaining time periods. So when I go on my appointment, he can put me in tennis shoes with ankle weights. So, <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully by Halloween for my anniversary, I'm not stuck in my boot I can actually walk heels are gonna be a while but you know what it's gonna happen you know my heart set on it I'm gonna be back in my heels I'm gonna be back at the action in my fitness we're gonna make it happen so hopefully y'all enjoyed but to be safe because it has been a long day and I did like I said walking downtown walk through the mall yesterday which if y'all or if anybody watches it who knows where I'm from knows that you know my mall's a two-story mall so I went up the steps now actually let me rephrase that I went down two flights of steps at the mall and did good but I used my crutch just to be safe so but anyways y'all I'll see y'all later